Welcome to another video of HSC Terms. Today we're going to look at the term evaluate. The Board of Studies says to evaluate is to make a judgement based on criteria or to determine the value of. So evaluation can be seen in two different contexts. The first is judgement. Students often struggle with this and will spend most of their time discussing or describing whatever they've been asked to evaluate. It is most crucial that you provide an overall judgement. So, how do you do that? Well, one of two ways. First of all, the question provides the criteria and you use that, or you have to use your own criteria. The harder of these two is using your own criteria in order to provide a judgement. This is because two steps are needed. You need to first choose relevant criteria and then use that criteria to make your judgement. For example, if you were asked to evaluate how successful a, a politician's career was, you could use criteria such as the long-term positive impact, or perhaps they had an objective throughout their career and they met that objective or not. The markers will not be looking for just one set of criteria, but as long as your criteria is relevant and you've used it to provide a logical and supported judgement, you'll be fine. Similarly, when you're asked to determine the value of something, you'll need to look at the criteria that's been provided. In this case, usually the criteria is based on context. A good example is if you were asked to determine the usefulness or value of a source. The source might be a very reliable diary account of a general who obviously was incredibly involved in the planning of the war. But if the historian is looking at the attitudes of the average World War I soldier, well in that context the source is actually not of much value at all. So that's Evaluate. Any questions, feel free to comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.